Hey folks, this is Max. Welcome to another workflows video. So in this video, we're going to continue using the list card. And specifically, I'm going to show you how to use the for each, um, which allows to create a loop. Um, so basically, you have a list of values, um, strings in this case, in our case, we're going to pass them to another flow. So and that's going to give us kind of a, a loop or a for each type uh, functionality. So I've already created uh, both flows. Uh, actually, we're going to build this one, but let me open the helper one first. So the helper one is uh, just has one or two cards if you count the, the first one. So this one is a helper flow, right? So that's the card. And then I have defined one input, which is text. And then all it does is that it sends the message uh, to Slack, right? And then I've used uh, the Slack bot option here. I have a emoji and we can test this particular card if we want. Well, actually we can test the entire flow. Let's do that. So we can say hello from helper flow and click run test. All right, and we can see right here that uh, the flow works. All right, so this is the helper flow. Again, this is the one that's going to participate in the in the loop. Okay, so let's go back. Um, now it's important that the helper flow is on. So again, we want to make sure that uh, it's on, or um, you'll get an error if you if you try to invoke a flow that's not on. Uh, but let's go. Let's go here and let's open this one. So this one we're going to build. Uh, first, we are going to um, create the list. And um, notice you can search for, for cards here, which is very handy. So construct. And we're going to create a list, um, just some grocery items. And bread. Right. Now, the next step, the next card will be we want to call uh, that helper flow, right? And to do that, we're going to add function. And then this is for each. And so this is the one one. This is um, so process each item on the list. And we're going to take the list from the previous card and map it like this. And now next step is to choose the flow that we want to run. And this is the one we want. All right. And then once we do that, it actually, uh, it knows the, the input. Uh, that the helper flow uh, expects. And then it you know, shows this input, which I'm going to select item. So this is basically the current item on the list. Now, in our case, it's just a string or a text, but you could pass objects, uh, or you could, sorry, not pass, but you could have objects in the list. And then you don't have to pass the entire object. You can just you know, pass, for example, a particular field from the object to the helper. So that's uh, where this would be useful. Um, okay. Um, I think that's it. Let's save and let's uh, turn this on. We can just go back here again. Both flows are on. So let's open this again um, and let's test. So again, we have a list calls the helper and then we should see three messages in Slack. All right. And looks like We've got success here and let's see Slack. And yep, we've got three messages, right? Um, the, the three items from the list. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I wanted to show you in this particular video. Um, again, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next time.